Welcome back to my channel. Today we have four new products to try. So you guys are ready for this? Okay, so the four new products I had gotten are Milani's Castile and Perfect. I got the shade Light 00B. I'm gonna try this. That one on sale. And then I had gotten Elves Intense. I eat intense ink eyeliner eyeliner pen because I've always I feel like they always dry out way too fast. I think I've tried it before, I believe. No, it was the H2O. I've had the H2O one before and I love the H2O. So I wanted to try this one. And then I got Elf Mascara. It's volumizing and divine. Volumizing and defining. Got in the shade black. And because they have zodiacs and I love zodiacs got a zodiac lip gloss for me a virgo lip gloss so i already prime and bb cream my face and i'm just gonna go by and show you each of the products one by one as i go through my beauty routine So I got the saw a technique where you wet your beauty beauty fondant beauty beauty sponge. Why do I say plunger? I don't know. Beauty blender sponge. There we go. And so when you look when it's wet, it spreads a lot more. So you want to do like a little at a time. You can still smell my, smell my sponge because I just washed it. You can still smell it. Smells like an Irish spring. So, the Irish spring smell, that's what it smells like. It's not too bad. There's really not much of a scent to it. And it applies really easily. Um, I, of course, I did two layers. You don't have to. Some people probably don't need two layers. I need two layers because of my bits. I'm going to make sure I got everything. Um, I, pretty, I like it. We'll see. I have to, like, give it, like, a week's worth of a test. If I like it. Because, just because of the fact one day of use is not going to give you the results you want to see if you're going to like it or not so we'll wait wait and see but it's not too bad it's very sheer very sheer it says it's two to one has foundation and concealer so it's supposed to do both which i can see that it helps conceal more in my pores so that's something that i like um, it's oil free, it's long long wearing, water resistant, and sweat proof, so we'll see. I work at a haunted house too besides doing it here. I'm a costume manager this year instead of doing makeup. And it gets really hot in there. Cause we're in the, we're like kind of like a weird trailer. I don't even know what they call them. But we'll see. We'll see if I, if it's sweat proof. And I'll give reviews on that too. But overall, I like it. It's not too bad. It's a very like sheer coverage that I feel like. It's very sheer. But I like it. And also it helps cover his pores. So if like if you run on concealer, you don't have to freak out. You can like it comes with concealer. Like it's built into it. So not bad. Not not bad. So we'll see. Alright guys, you ready to see? the 
eyeliner. This is the elf eyeliner, like I said, that I had mentioned that I had gotten. So let's try this out. Let's open them. Okay. It's brand new. Brand new products. So we'll warm it up a little bit to make sure. Okay. Let's give it a really good, nice shake. Oh, it gives it a nice good black. Deep, nice black. Like some, like I always say every time I try to eyeliner pen, all the time they're super black. And sometimes they're just gray, but sometimes it's a matte black. I like glossy black like i want to know that i just put black on my eyelids because it makes the cat look, look a lot better too when it's like that Sometimes you have to, if it's not wanting to work because it's brand new, you gotta like show it a little bit. So you can get it activated. I'm not gonna go super, why is my voice cracking? I'm not gonna go super like creative today. I'm just keeping it nice and simple. I have a nice and simple hair look because I have it in a braid. So it's simple, nice and simple. It dries pretty fast too, so you don't have to worry about us and then getting it all over the place when you open your eyelid like this. It's very pointy, so you can easily do a lot of drawing on it on it with it, a little drawing with it. It's not too bad. It dries like really fast though. So it makes it a little bit harder to like tailor it. So that's that. The eyeliner pen from e.l.f. Not too bad. It glides perfectly. It's easy to use. It dries pretty fast. There. Bother me for a moment. It dries pretty fast. Um, it's really black. It's not like it's matte black. It's like a glossy black. Um, I do say when you first open it, you want to like give it a really good shake, warm it up a lot, like warm it up or put in your bra while you're and while you're doing your makeup, and then do that last. And then also you can take it to the hand and just like give it a really good like mark, like do this to get it really going because it's just it was setting since it was being used, so now it's being used. You gotta like wake it up per se. Okay, so next we have the e.l.f. mascara. Don't worry guys, I already powdered in my face and I just, and I set it. So this is like the last minute stuff for me. Okay. I love getting new makeup and everything I try, but I hate trying to take them out of the packages. They make them so hard, especially ones like this. Okay, so this is the Elf Mascara. So what I like to do is, that's a nice brush. Do you guys see that brush? 
No, I like mascara brushes like that. So I always go up like this on top on the bottom of my top lashes, then I go on top of them. Just so I know they're getting colored. Sometimes it doesn't look like they're colored, like it's weird on top, like that's like the white film. Or like a white film on top, and then you're like, that's so weird, why did I only do the bottom? And then I'm gonna take it on the bottom part again, like this. Like that to make them go up. Um, I'm one of those weird people. I don't use curlers at all because my eyelashes are very long and they curl perfectly. I know I don't need them. If I want a dramatic, um, will my eyelashes be like dramatic? Then I would. And then we're gonna lightly do the bottom lashes. I feel like they apply easily. It's not like, like dramatically super. See, like I could put another coat, and it's not like super hard. Like most of them are. So I could put like three, four coats if I really wanted to. So that's the mascara. It's not too bad, it applies easily, nice and soft too, especially on the bottom lashes because sometimes that's what we need, nice and soft. Because I don't always do, with my allergies, it's hard for me to do the bottom eye, my bottom eyes with eyeshadow and eyeliner just because, oh, I just got mascara on it. Dang it, dang it. Uh, I can't do bottom lashes, bottom, bottom lashes. I can't do my bottom eyelids with eyeliner and eyeshadow because of my allergies. And I just got over an allergic reaction to something. And I thought, oh, I think it's either my makeup wipes that I had gotten or a cover girl. And they both use them at the same time. So that's why I'm like, I'm just going to say I'm allergic to both of them. Just for the sake of that. Just for the sake of that. So if anybody wants cover girl eyeliner pen, it was only used once. Only once. I don't mind giving that away. Um... Yeah, so I like the mascara. It's really good, very light. So I guess that my eyelashes are really light. Um, the light coat, my eyes feel all watery. Weird. We're about to get a hurricane, so like my eyes are like going crazy because I have environmental allergies too. All kinds of allergies here, all kinds. But the mascara on my eyelashes look really good. I like it. It's a nice formula. It doesn't really smell, which is always a good because I feel like fragrances is what break people out sometimes. You guys just all right. <laughs> just, there's really barely any smell, um, which is really good. And I like it. It's very lightweight and easy, so like... You can easily glide it on there. It's very lightweight. Um, you don't have to worry about your lashes feeling so heavy because of that. So, which is a good thing. So, last but not least, I got this lip gloss. Woo! Um, it's a Virgo lip gloss from Wet n Wild. They have a whole Zodiac makeup line out right now. So. As much as I want to get the rest of it, I'm going to only did one. So we're just going to do one and one lip gloss. And so, I think you about doing. Let's do a swatch first. Oh, okay. So it gives you a little bit of a tint. Very liquidy. Look at that. It's so glittery. It's like shimmery. So no matter what, let's do that. Uh, I won't do it. I thought I'd do a lip liner box, but so let's let's do it just regular right on the lips. Definitely feels like a lip gloss.
so it tends that like a little brown like it looks brown a little brown which is not bad to be honest this is my first time ever using like a brown lip gloss and it doesn't look bad to me i always thought it would look weird but it doesn't let's get a close-up this doesn't look bad let's see if we can find like better lighting there we go that's so bad right it's very glittery oh so you definitely have that shimmer that shimmer experience not too bad I actually like this shade. It's a really pretty shade. So that's it. So um, I like it. The what about lip gloss it applies easily. You can de definitely feels like a lip gloss. There we go. Definitely feel like a lip gloss for sure. Um, very some really lightweight. Doesn't feel too heavy at all. So that's good. It doesn't really smell too bad. So that's always good. So I give it a thumbs up. I give all the products today a thumbs up. Um. But I'm going to give it a week with a foundation and I'll give it like a review like after a week on a, how I use it and if I still like it and if it breaks me out or not. So that's good. So I'm going to say that's good. I don't know why. But that's it for today. Please give me a like, a subscribe, ring that bell so you'll be alerted to every time I make posts on the YouTube channel. And I hope you guys have a really good day. Peace, love, Korean heart.